Well, we've got a late night here in the lab. It's been a huge day today, but I wanted to get a couple of these, these housings done, these tilt housings. But there was something I wanted to show you guys in here about when we measure cylinders. Sometimes if you don't have enough geometry uh, or enough um, clicks or enough pokes on your data capture, instead of the cylinder, like I've got to come up with this axis here, that's actually a datum in this part. Um, but since this is such a small cylinder this way and long this way, sometimes if you don't poke enough, enough data on that, what you'll end up with is a thin cylinder this way, but a big one this way. So I want to show you that in, the, in Polyworks here, how we can get around that issue with, um, with measurement of cylinders. Okay, So I've got one of them fixtured up right here. And you can see in my data here, in my model tree, I've got those features measured uh, just by this green check mark that's in front. Now here is the datum D, the full cylinder. Let me highlight him a second just to show you that. There is a cylinder that's made up of these two pivots here in that sheet metal, or in that housing, that weldment. So let me do this a second. I'm going to right click on there, and I'm going to go to Probe Measured. So what I'll do is I'll grab a couple points here. Let's put maybe three, let's go four over here. And then I'll put four into this side over here. That should be plenty enough to solve for a nice cylindrical feature. But now notice inside of Polyworks there what it gave me. Let me put the arm back for just a second. Notice what it gave me though. It gave me a big old cylinder that's going the wrong direction, okay? So that's how it solved, or that's what it formed out of all that data that I, that I collected there. So that's not what I'm looking for. So let me try this again. So I'm gonna go to probe again, but what I wanna show you is a sub method here that is known as use initial circles, okay? Um, if anybody's used CAM2 measure in the past, the, the FARO program, Previous versions would have you measure two initial circles and then anything else on top of that to form the cylindrical feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing here, use initial circles. So I'm going to measure three points on each of these, these features here, and then I can put points as many as I want to in other places too to solve for that cylinder. But first I'm going to use initial circles. So here I'll hit probe again. And notice here, up in the top, it'll say circle one of two, since it's using circles to solve for the cylinder. So let me grab the arm. I'll do the same thing here. Notice as the numbers progress in that upper left-hand corner. Okay, now it just switched over to circle two of two. So I'll run over here, this side. I'll measure two of two. Now notice that went away. So now I can just start poking a couple more here. Maybe I'll put one up here, here, and then I'll compensate in the middle. Notice what happens. That cylinder gets formed perfectly in that pivot as if I was looking at it here. So there it is, that cylinder shows up right here. So if you guys are doing some measurement on cylindrical features, whether it be internal like this or external, maybe on this, this type of feature here, and if you're giving uh, enough point, uh, point content on there and you're getting a cylinder that's formed this way, possibly try that use initial circle. And again, all you do is three points top and three points bottom and then pepper it with as many points as you want else in other places and it'll solve that cylinder vector that axes appropriately. <laughs>